Praise the Lord. Brethren, praise the Lord. I am Brokelly Best Davis. I'm a medical doctor. And the case we're about presenting, the testimony we're about presenting now, is a case that I am very, very familiar with. And I am presenting this because this can only be God. And this could have just been just by a miracle. She has had a two-year history of a battle with breast cancer, with distant metastasis, I'm talking about Sister Mercy Paul. And then that led to the need for chemotherapy. And then there was a complete total shutdown of her system, resulting in blindness, paralysis. But beginning from Taraba Crusade and up to this crusade, the Lord God did and has done a miracle. Someone that could not see is seen. Someone that could not stand and walk is walking. You, the husband will share the testimony. Put your place. hands together. Praise the Lord. Paul Abraham Omogena is my name. The sister standing beside me, she's my wife, Mercy Paul. We are here to share the good testimony of what God has done for us. Just like as the doctor said, she was diagnosed of cancer two years ago. And eventually, they asked us to you know, pick up the treatment, and we have been on it. And the more we did our treatment, we discovered that so many things have been rocking the body, one pain from one pain to another, one pain to another, to the point that our hairs go down, everything about our system collapsed. She stayed for two months, three weeks, and two days, not testing food nor water in the house. And we have to employ the service of doctor to help us to begin to, you know, to put, uh, what is it called, uh, uh, um, water in our system, drip. But each time we try to do that, we discover that the system has collapsed. Nothing penetrates. Rather, the hand will be swelling, swelling, then we just remove it. But God still kept her alive. But... Praise the Lord. I said, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And all of a sudden, in this Taraba crusade, before the Taraba crusade, all of a sudden she woke up one day, her two eyes was completely blind. We went to a hospital to test. They said she's blind. I took the result to the church. I informed my state of Asia. Virtually all my state of Asia sitting down here, they are aware of the case. Everybody all my people, they were all praying for me. Not until they gave this date that GS is coming down to Bayasa State. <laughs> Praise the Lord. When they gave us the date, anyone that sees me will tell me that GS is coming to Bayasa for your sake. GS is coming to Bayasa for your sake. GS is coming to Bayasa for your sake. And actually, GS indeed came for our sake. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I said, Praise the Lord. She was completely blind to the point that through her dreams, she would tell me, ah, there is, I saw my first son. He will call the name, call the second one. That I, Im I imagined their face. She couldn't see anything. She doesn't know if light exists. But after the Taraba crusade, she started telling me that she can see shadows. I said, not only shadows, you will see human beings. Yeah. Praise the Lord. So the first day that we came to this place, when Jesus, our Father and the Lord, Daddy, thank you very much, sir. When he mounted on the pulpit, she felt a sensation, an electric sensation from her left hand side. Left hand. Hit all her system down. Power. She, she jubilated inside the vehicle Power. as we were going. She was celebrating. In Power. the midnight, she was celebrating. Power. 1 a.m., she was celebrating. Power. 2 a.m., she was celebrating. She said, I'm coming back to come and give my testimony. I'm coming back. This somebody that cannot walk, she trekked all over from the car park to this point now. As you can see her, nails are falling off. Hairs are growing back. Put your hands together for Jesus. Amen. That is what God can do. What God cannot do does not exist. Put your hands together for Jesus. Praise the Lord. Yes. Give She's her here. to talk. You Give can her test her. Give her to talk. Please give her to talk. One, 
two, five. Praise the Lord! It Sister, is over. You are free. And that settles it. March on the devil. Just march on the devil. March on the devil. March on the devil. March on the devil. God bless you. Go and enjoy your freedom. Freedom! Redemption! It is coming your way in Jesus' name. We want to entertain the next testimony. Uh, Lance, you are up to three. Okay. Uh, brethren, praise the Lord. I say praise the Lord. This night, I want to tell you that your problem does not exist because Jesus has already carried them away on the cross. And uh, our pastor told us some time ago that anything God cannot do does not exist. And that means there is nothing you have now troubling you that God cannot take away. Can you share anything that you feel God, this one is beyond God's ability? There is nothing like that. And therefore, tonight, whatever is your problem, lift it up to the Lord. Believe God. God is still working, and God will intervene in Jesus' name. Amen. We call for the choir to come on now. 